Thanks for joining us today, everybody. My name's Aaron Hanel, um, and we're super excited that you took time out of your day to jump in and have a discussion with us about how you can tap into the power of tech in your rental management business. Um, as I had mentioned, my name's Aaron Hanel, and I'm really excited to introduce my colleague, Nicole Clayman. Um, we're lucky enough to have Nicole presenting today. Uh, Nicole comes to Tapgoods with 10 plus years of rental management uh, experience, where she's worked with companies like Encore, Marquee Event Rentals, uh, and so she'll share some, you know, firsthand experiences. Um, at the end of the session, there will be a Q&A, and uh, you'll have the opportunity in the bottom of your Zoom toolbar to chat, and you will use the questions uh, attendee, and I'll field those questions and we'll take those at the end. Um, and then also, if you'd like to learn more about Tap Goods, uh, the last slide Nicole will share uh, actually has a QR code that you can scan and request a demo, but also feel free just to visit tapgoods.com. Without further ado, I'll turn it over to Nicole. Nicole, it's all yours. Great. Thank you so much, Aaron. And Thank you all for joining me today. I'm really excited to explore, you know, what brought you here today, but really to see how you can use technology, not be afraid of it, but really tap into what it can do for you and your business to move you forward. Um, that's why we're here today, but let's really get to the core of why you joined this industry and what um, technology can really do for you. So that's what I'm excited to explore today. Great. All right, so before we dig in, I do just wanna introduce myself. Thank you so much, Aaron, uh, for the quick introduction there. Like he said, I do have 10 years of experience plus in the events rental industry. Um, outside of that, I also have years of experience as a planner, You know, working with event rental, um, just like yourself, as a planner in the private, nonprofit, and public sector. So really able to pull on that knowledge as well. Years of experience in hospitality, Encore, and Freeman. So understanding that audio, visual, and production side of things. I'm going to reference some of those um, throughout this demonstration. So I really want to pull on that as well. But also, um, years with Marquee Event Rental, tenting, party, and events. So let's go ahead and dig in. Let's learn a little bit about maybe challenges you're facing and how software can really be an answer to a lot of those challenges and provide you solutions. That's what we're here for today. Let's find solutions together. So what we're gonna do is take a step back, right? If you're gonna plan for the future, you have to know where you came from. So you have to look at where it all started. Why did you join this industry? There's a story behind each of us. Each of our clients that you work with, that you rent to, has a story, what they need, what brought them here, what you can provide for them. You can also see what tools you have now, what you've gone through, what steps and processes you currently use, where that started, kind of where you want to be. So looking at the past, but really keeping an eye on the future. Where do you want to be from now? We're gonna take some time, I'm gonna challenge you to take some moments to set down, really put into action where you wanna be and how you can get there. Then we're gonna look at how to simplify your business, streamlining things. How do you do more with less? That's gonna be our big goal here. How are we gonna dig into all these details, overcome those challenges, find solutions by pulling on all of those different items. And then long-term planning, right? We all have plans. We all have things we're striving for that we're trying to attain. So if we're able to know, hey, if I can take this step and this step and this step, we can make it to that end goal. If you can come together with your team and all the tools at your disposal, that is your team members, that's your software, that's your knowledge, your expertise. So pulling on all of that and coming up with a plan for the future. Now, like I said, I've been in the industry. I've sat in the chair. I've taken the calls. 
You do those long days, 12, 14 hours, six, seven days a week, on call, fielding problems, fielding questions. So what tools have you used in the past? Are you using now that maybe aren't working? That have you ever taken a step back to say, where did this start? How are, you know, how are we operating now and how have we operated in the past? I can speak from experience. I've shared a cubicle with those bankers boxes. <laughs> I, they were taller than I was. And I knew, hey, this is where it had to be stored. We didn't have anywhere else to put it. I fought with that printer because our operations team needed a copy, because our dispatch team needed a copy, and because sales needed a copy. Everything in triplicate, everything on different colored paper, how much time went into that. How much of my time, how much of my teammates' time went into just the process of printing things, the cost of ink, the cost of upkeep, all of that adds up. So when you're thinking about maybe what tools you have now and how that might be holding you back, keep that in mind. That all adds up. Now, let's say you have done a shift in software and maybe you transitioned into a server-based system. How much are you paying for an IT director to be on call? How much time do you spend when a new feature gets rolled out on a blackout day? How much struggle do you have to log into your server if you're in a kind of weird Wi-Fi situation? <laughs> so that could all be examples that really have, you know, where you've been to where you want to go. So let's look at where we started. Hey, started from the bottom. Let's see where we can go. All right, so here is our first challenge. This is really meant to get you thinking, right? So I always say, my mom always said, my dad always said, if you put it in writing, you'll make it happen. It becomes a plan. So I'm gonna challenge y'all, take your notes tab, put it up, get your phone up, take a piece of paper and a pen, write down your plan. Where do you see your company one year from now? What tools do you currently have to get you there? And what would you need to change? Now I'm gonna give you 60 seconds. So I am just gonna pause here um, and keep that tally. I do want you to pull on these questions and write them down because I will reference them later. Um, and it's all about putting that plan in action and writing it down in front of you. So even if you aren't the business owner, even if you're just a team member, Write down that plan. You have to have a plan. Profitability, growth. I'm going to increase my sales. Anything. You have to always be looking at that future. So I'm going to do 60 seconds starting now. All right, thank you. So as we go through this webinar, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull on not only my experiences, my customers' experiences, my clients' experiences. We're gonna look and we're gonna evaluate maybe some of the challenges that you're dealing with now that might not be something that stays top of mind. Now with COVID-19, our industry has shifted, we changed. Now, events industry always changes by month, by year. It's always evolving, always getting the next newest, biggest thing, right? It's a constant update. But COVID-19 made us really shift our basis. I'm going to use the term, this term a lot, doing more with less. I want you to think about it in many ways. 
staffing shortages, your time, your money. You have to be more agile in our current environment. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig into those challenges, see how all of that impacts how our plan is going to evolve. All right, the first step to that plan is simplifying your business. So again, streamlining, doing more with less. Why do your customers come to you? It's your experience you provide them. You have equipment they need. That's why you're here. That's why you're in business. You provide something to them that they can't get elsewhere. Maybe they could, but they like the experience working with you. So how can you improve that experience? How can your technology, how can your software improve that experience? Well, first of all, the website, right? It's the face of your company. When someone gets a, a reference to work with you, the first thing they're going to do is Google you, right? They're going to want to see your website. Do you come off professional? Do you come off polished? Do you come off as, you know, an industry expert? Does your website allow your, the client to shop, browse, see what's going on, see what they can, they can add to their cart, get inspired? I mean, that right there is like, hey, check out that website. Keep people going back. Keep people wanting to work with you. Then your sales experience. Is it easy to work with you? Is it easy to get a hold of you? Can they book quickly through your site or through your sales team? Is the sales process open? Do they understand it? Do they understand the workflow behind it? Is it easy to check out? Can they pay quickly, right? And then delivery. Everything you promise through your website, through your sales is nothing until you can deliver on it. So what's the delivery experience like? Then inventory management. We're gonna really dig into that. That is the heart of your business. Your clients are there because of what you have to offer and you invested your capital into this equipment. So how are you going to make that work for you? How are you going to overcome challenges you currently have in inventory management and make it something that makes sense to not only you, but your entire team? Then routing. I always say routing's the poor overlooked team member, right? But how do your clients get their equipment? How do they get the delivery experience if routing is a nightmare? Do you understand when the equipment's going to be delivered? Do you have how many calls are you feeling to understand when the delivery time is going to be? Is your routing system 10 steps that maybe could be two? So how can your software help you with your routing experience? Then workflow management and reporting. We all have to report to somebody, right? Even if you're the business owner, you still want to see your numbers. You want to know what's going on. How profitable have I been? How many pieces of equipment do I have? You always want to understand the pulse of your business. And the best way to do so is to have your software provide you all that information. Putting all your data into there so you can pull upon it anytime and you own all of that. Then understanding that workflow. If at any time anyone on your team logs into your software, are they able to understand the status of this order and what next steps are needed? There's no questions involved. So we're gonna really dig into all those aspects. All right, so customer experience. How do you attract and retain customers? Now, keeping a customer coming back, right? It's not so hard because once you get through the experience, you can do that. But that word of mouth, that reference they can give is worth its weight in gold. So not only can you use that to attract more customers, but what other tools are at your disposal? How can your software help your current customers and new customers get a great experience with you? Make it easy to work with you. Now, in our current environment, everybody wants an Amazon. <laughs> everybody wants an Instacart. I want to quickly be able to go on. I want to click and see what the price is going to be. I want to cross-check. I don't want to have to make a call, send an email, 
wait 48 hours. They want immediate response. So if your website can provide that e-commerce, how much time does that save you? If you can still provide that one-on-one -on -one customer experience, but also have your software give you that additional information that's gonna keep people coming back. So you're gonna be able to reach more customers through your website, also social media. They're gonna see you out there. They're gonna see you engaging. You're gonna be able to track those metrics and that data because your software is tracking all that for you. Now, like I said, a lot of customers want that experience like Amazon where I'm able to browse, submit a quote. How do your clients currently get a quote to you? I've been there, 48 hours to respond or never. How many reviews do you have? How many pieces of feedback do you have where I called three times, I left three voicemails, I never got a call back? How many tens of thousands of dollars are sitting in your voicemail box or your inbox of someone in your staff that isn't able to get back to their calls? What if that could all be monetized through your website by allowing clients to browse, add things to a cart, shop, give them the option to pay, sign, and move it forward. How many tens of thousands of dollars could you bring in just via that and to have that control? What's your checkout process like? Is it easy? Do your clients know they can just sign right there from their phone and make a payment? The credit card stored on file, so I can just log into my personal portal and I can say, hey, I'm ready to go. Hey, done. How easy is it for your clients to work with you? And I'm telling you as a customer, if I can go to another colleague or a friend in the industry and say, hey, it was great to work with XYZ, they were super easy. I could just go to their website and submit things. I'm going to definitely do so. Now, what do your quotes look like, right? If you can see it, you can buy it. Including photos on a quote is so easy and to allow that opportunity to happen allows your clients to not only get inspired, but to feel confident in what they're purchasing. If you call something a shivari chair and you call something a chameleon chair, your client can't remember which is which because they don't work in the industry, but they have a photo of it on their quote. They're like, oh yeah, okay, no, that's exactly what I ordered, right? I don't need to call you and email you three times to confirm that that's exactly what I was asking. Now, let's say you're trying to attract maybe higher end clients or you're up in an RFP. You're bidding out against multiple other competitors and you want to one step above the rest. You want to create a proposal. You want something to be a little higher level. So instead of having your software up here, your PowerPoint here, you maybe a creative team, a marketing team, you got to reach out four or five times, have a call, set up a PDF. What if you could just do that with one click in your software and say, hey, let's highlight these inspiration photos. Let's, fork, let's show them, hey, wow, this is going to be really great for your event. Whether you're working in AV production, whether you're working in party and events, that is going to set you ahead of the game. Now, how is your delivery experience for your clients? I have worked in multiple different industries, both AV production, party and events, and as an event planner myself. And how many times have you been called on a day-to-day -day basis to try and understand when your delivery is going to happen? Hi, I'm a customer. I call in. Hey, I'm supposed to get my delivery at noon. It's 1215. Where are they? Oh, well, just a second. I'll, I'll go to the back. Go to the back, you check with dispatch. They call the driver, driver calls dispatch back. Dispatch calls back to you, you call them back. That's about an hour of your time out of your day. How many quotes, how many client touches, how many problems could have been solved in that amount of time that it took to get you a response on a delivery time? How is that making you money? What if your software can provide live updates so everyone in your office knows, hey, that delivery is going to happen at that time. What if, your, what if your client can just be like, oh, Uber Eats, hey, oh, wow, this is great. I can actually see exactly when my delivery is going to be coming right on my phone. 
that would set you aside, that would completely set you aside from your industry, some of, some of your competitors, because it's going to continually put you cutting edge where people are expecting that level of experience. Now, like I said, their inventory is the heart of your business. You put all your money into this. This is what you invested in. Your equipment, the quality of your equipment, the quality of the experience renting your equipment, that's where you make your impact. So if you're not managing your inventory currently in a smart and streamlined way, you're losing money. You're losing money. You're losing the experience of that customer. It's just completely downgraded. If, hey, I promised you 25 chairs, but some of the chairs were in maintenance. I didn't know. I don't remember. How much time before delivery is your team internally putting out fires to get something handled at the end of the week? Because the inventory management software didn't take into account all the changes that needed to happen because of an, another event the weekend before. Tracking over bookings, being able to control inventory life cycle. How much is this piece of equipment worth? Have I made a profit on it in the two years that I invested in? Being able to track maintenance, going in and understanding where it is internally. How much that costs if you have to send it out to get fixed? All the quality control you're doing every time you send that piece of equipment out. How much turnover time between, equip, uh, between rentals? If you have a projector and you need a day to quality control it because you have to clean the lens and there is some damage maybe, you're gonna be able to do that. You're gonna be able to understand that and your software is gonna do that work for you. Now, what if you could collect photos and signatures when you check your items in and out? Just an example, hey, uh, maybe a difficult client you're working with um, has been notorious where you deliver everything and then they say, hey, 10 linens are missing, but you took a photo, the client signed off on delivery and said, yes, everything's here. That's protecting you and not having to backtrack and maybe give something complimentary that wasn't necessary. Then on check-in, especially with damages, you're able to take photos, get a signature, charge right there because, you're, because your software is thinking ahead because your software is constantly working for you. Now, if you take your inventory um, and you bundle it, you create packages, this is really important. You know, us in the industry, we understand that a tent, a 20 by 20 tent is not just a 20 by 20 tent. But me, a renter, might not understand that. I don't know that ratchets and stakes and weights and sidewall all come with that. I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> That's why you're here. You're the expert. So if you can create bundles in your software that it takes into account all the tiny pieces that your team needs to make something successful that maybe your client doesn't understand or is going to question why all those line items are there, the bundle makes it easy for your client to understand what it goes in a camera kit and all the pieces that follow along with that. Barcoding can change the game, especially with AV production. If you can have barcodes on every single speaker you have and then you track it, what about your lighting? What about your par LED lights? Anything like that where you can track lamp hours how many times it's been used, how many times it's been quality controlled. And you can scan that in and out for check-in and check-out to make that process seamless and easy. That could change, change the game for you and your warehouse team and could really set you apart for your clients as well. Now, as I mentioned earlier, that damage feature, we all have the damages. <laughs> I have horror stories that I have from clients, even myself, of damages that happen that you have to take account for and can impact the rest of your week for your other clients or beyond. So if you're able to track the life cycle of each of those items, what profit you're going to make on it, but let's say a damage happens and it's totally, completely destroyed. If your software immediately gives you the cost of that item to replace it, 
right there on one screen. You don't have to go hunting through file folders or an Excel doc or uh, something that sits on your desk. It's right there in the software. That would save you so much time and you'd be able to automatically charge it and have documentation behind it to your client as to why that needed to be charged. All right, we're gonna dig into routing now. <laughs> How do you currently manage your routing? Do you map quest Google Maps up with your screen? How many hours a day do you spend or does someone on your team spend? Do you have clipboards all on a wall with a bunch of print offs? Do you have file folders full of diagrams, layouts, insurance information, parking passes that all are just sitting right out there in the open? And let's say your driver leaves and they completely forgot it. Now they have no parking pass, they have no insurance information to access the doc. They have no idea what's on that order. They're completely in the dark on the setup. If you're routing, if you're routing software, if your software can incorporate routing, not even an additional piece of software, all of that can be in the same place and you can set up a streamlined delivery that provides you all the order information. You are gonna look like a rock star to that client upon delivery that every single person on your team is an expert on their order and it's important no matter the size. So if your routing can give you an anticipated calendar view of what's upcoming, what's coming on the next couple of days, if your drivers can get notified when they've been assigned a route, they know where they're going, three or four stops, it makes sense. They know what's on the truck, they know what truck they're driving. There's no questions. Everyone's on the same page and it's saving you time. What if it could be fully integrated with Google Maps? Now by this, I mean, you know, you set up your routing in your software itself. You press one button and your driver has it right there. They know turn by turn where they need to go. Or, hey, you want to print it off, go for it because you know exactly where you're going that day. Your three stops you have for drop-offs, your three stops you have for pickups, it's all right there in front of you. And it's all completely open to your entire operations team and sales team. So everyone's on the same page, nobody's in the dark. It's all about teamwork. It's all about doing more with less and not having to juggle multiple systems to get something done. How do you currently track your processes right now. If I were to log into your system or sit down in one of your operations meetings, am I going to understand the status of each of the orders that you're going over? Is it going to make sense? Are you as a sales director knowing exactly what's going on with your entire team? Having a workflow that's modernized is something that's going to set you apart. And with new salespeople that are coming into this industry, they want to know, they want all that information in front of them. There should be no second guessing. Just think about interdepartmental communication for a second. Every single company I've worked for, event planning, AV production, partying events and tenting, has had a pre-convention or a pre-event meeting before large events. In that meeting, you sit down, you walk through everything that's coming up this coming weekend with your team and you're making sure to get all those high points covered. And then there's an email sent and then there's a conversation and then it all goes into the, the ether, right? What if your software can track all that information for you so that interdepartmental communication is all on the same page? So everything is on the up and up. So you completely know what's going on. So like I said earlier, your operations team steps foot on that job site, on that event site, and they look like the expert that they are. There's, there's all the notes there about the client, maybe quirks, maybe odd things that, you know, maybe they need to keep into account. You're able to communicate all of that, and you can hide things from the client if you need to. It's for you to have a successful operations unit. 
and your software should do that for you. You shouldn't have to have four steps outside of the software to pull up an email, pull up paper that you printed off in the folder, maybe somebody accidentally left behind. It should all be in the same spot. Now, as I said earlier, reporting is important. Whether you're just reporting on your accounting, whether you're looking to pay your sales team and you need to pull a commission report, how do you know what items were most profitable last year? Oh, you're going to invest in new equipment next spring versus just saying, hey, what do you guys think? Pull a report on how many times things were rented. Is this item been taking up space in your shelf that really has never been rented out over the past five years? Maybe it's something you could sell. Reporting is supposed to make you more agile, more streamlined. And if your software can provide you reports that are easy to use, make sense, and keep you coming back and allow you to report to leadership, investment, anybody, you have it all in front of you. That's going to push you to get to your long-term goals because you're able to show and quantify everything that has gotten to where you are. All righty. So I know I gave you a lot. I know there was a lot of information, just making you think through where you are, what's going on now, and maybe some of those items that you hadn't thought of before, right? So in the first challenge, I asked you to make that one-year goal. I asked you to, you know, look at what you have now. I asked you to really just dig into what you want to be and where you want to be. We're gonna do another 60 second hold. What I want you to do is grab that paper back out. I want you to make an action plan, quick three bullet if you can, on how you are going to, what you're gonna put in place and how you're gonna attain that one year goal. Think about some of the things maybe I brought up so far that got you triggered. Wow, I didn't even know that was a solution. Write that down. All of that is supposed to inspire you. Then what kind of partner do you need to reach that goal? All right, we're gonna go ahead and start. Okay, thank you guys. So now that you have it written, I will ask you, you know, take that to your team, take it to your partner, take it to someone in your team that you really want to brainstorm with, talk to your boss in your one-on-one. -on -one. How can you use all of these plans, all of these tools to put that into action? This is written, let's put action behind it for the long-term to make that happen. All right, so now we've reached the end. We are at our Q&A session. Um, as Erin said in the beginning, if you do have questions that maybe popped up, maybe you wrote down and didn't add them to the chat, feel free to do so now. Make sure you send them to the question bot. Um, that is Erin, he is monitoring it, and he can go ahead and jump in with some questions that y'all might have. And then also want to point out the QR code here. Um, if you just put your phone up with the camera setting, uh, you can go ahead and click the link and book time with one of our um, product experts. This will be a personalized consultation, one-on-one -on -one with a product expert at Tap Goods, who's <laughs> going to go through your business, dig into all the details specified just for you, 
and find solutions um, and just really dig into you personalized. So that's what's exciting. Go ahead and book some time there. Uh, you'll have an opportunity to talk with some of my incredible colleagues who can really dig into that for you. Yeah, thanks, Nicole. That was awesome. Um, I could really feel A, your passion and really be your experience uh, from your time at the companies you had mentioned. So a couple of the questions had come through. Uh, just know to everyone that you're more than welcome, obviously, to go to www.tapgoods.com uh, and get more information about Tapgoods, request a demo, uh, and see any information on the solutions that we can provide. Uh, a couple of the questions that have come through uh, Nicole, uh, the first one that came through that I really like is what should be considered when selecting a software partner? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, you know, as you know, through my industry experience, I've been through multiple <laughs> technology transitions, um, both in the AV production side, but then also party and events. Um, so transitioning software is it can seem overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be, right? Um, so the biggest things that you should take into account, I would say, are your inventory and your inventory management. I mean, that's, like I said, the heart of your business. That's where your investment is. Um, so how can you manage that the most efficiently? You know, you don't want to scramble last minute to subrent something and lose profit on that because you weren't able to see ahead and make a plan ahead. It's so really inventory management, I would say, um, in both industries I've worked in, a struggle. So I think that would be top for me. Um, I would also say support. You know, I think I hear this a lot when talking to clients, that the support experience um, with some other softwares is really difficult. You know, not being able to reach out to the company um, and your software partner and to get that prompt response. Um, you know, speaking from experience, like here at TapGoods, being able to be on every page and having an option to talk to a real person is huge. Um, you know, I've, I've worked in an industry where to get a response for help took about 48 hours, if not more. So being able to um, have that support, I think is really important. Um, I would also say mobile, right? Like, especially in our industry now, everybody wants to be on the go. So like, I'm sure you and your team want to be able to take calls, you know, from anywhere, whether you're at a networking event out in the field doing a setup um, on the floor with a client. But hey, if you also want to take care of something while you're on the beach, like maybe you could do that. Um, but then also mobile for your clients too, that they can sign and pay from their phones, I think is really important. Um, and then I guess the last one, I think kind of plays into also that support aspect, but um, I would say, your your ability to get updates and features. Um, I have talked to a lot of clients, especially recently, where our competitors maybe aren't providing quick enough, you know, feature rollouts that they maybe wow. promise the world, but it doesn't happen. So being able to have features that are rolled out efficiently without eating up those blackout times, right? I mean, I remember like a full six hour blackout at my previous company where we weren't able to work at all because the entire system was down. Um, so being able to have those updates and the system refreshes really fast where they don't encumber what you're actually trying to accomplish. So I would say probably those, but I would have hit it on four, <laughs> four items. I love those. And I'll just add to um, on that first one, Nicole, you mentioned inventory management, mm -hmm. um, but we all know, you know, that the rental management industry is more than that. So I'd say really take a deep look at what challenges your business is experiencing today and prioritize those and the solution partner that you choose should obviously solve for those and probably many more. So um, I would just add, you know, really took take a deep look at your business and identify any potential gaps or opportunities to improve there um, and make sure that your solutions partner can solve that for you. So awesome, thanks for that, Nicole. Um, another question that came through the chat was, uh, what challenges either from experience here at TapGoods, experience with your previous uh, companies, can someone expect when switching or implementing a new software? 
Um, I mean, yeah, like, like I just said, the, it can seem intimidating. It can seem scary, right? Because you have all your data in another software or in another system, um, or you're tracking it just on Excel or however you're working right now, QuickBooks. Um, I think what, that would be a huge challenge, right? Your data, that's scary. That's the first thing I hear um, here at TapGoods is, well, what about my data? You know, how am I gonna get it? How am I gonna get it out? How, how am I gonna e export it, right? Um, now with my experience with um, previous companies, you know, good data gets good data is how I'll put it. You know, you have to make sure that what you want to put into the new system is what you want. So if you're going to just pull out anything you can and just put it into the system, it's not going to work as efficiently for you. So I always say this is a perfect opportunity to do a scrub, to do a clean. I have an AV production client who was like, this is exactly what we needed. They had 260 pages of inventory and items and customer information and all this data that they were like, we're just gonna take this time and scrub everything, clean it up. And that way when it's put in tap goods, it is the most efficient and most streamlined that we could possibly make it. So it is a great opportunity for you to do that work as you implement a new software, just to make you more agile in that. So really, again, good data gets good data. So it's really about just doing the work. Um, on ensuring that. But also a reminder, you do own your data. Wherever it lives right now, you own it. Whatever software has it or is hosting it, um, you own it at all times. So I know here at TapGoods, we have experts on our team um, who understand how to make your data, that import process, they're kind of, they handhold you, they help you throughout that process. So I think having a partner who takes that into effect um, and then I would also say time, you know, like I said, putting in the effort to not only clean your data, but also the time to do it, right? If you put in an hour a week, it could probably take you four to six weeks to implement something. I know here in TapGoods, that seems to be the standard. That's about an hour a week. Imagine if you could do like an hour a day, right? And I get it. We're all busy. We, that's always, hey, it's busy season. It's busy season. An hour a day out of your time to solve all those problems and get you launched in a couple of weeks, and then you don't have problems for the next six months, year, two years. I mean, it, to me, that just seems worth it. Put a little bit of work in now to reap benefits really strongly. So I would definitely say time um, in the onboarding process and just having a partner throughout that who understands all those aspects and also is with you throughout training. So they're constantly um, providing you updates, training you, um, on how to use it, because I think that can get intimidating, right? Like I'm used to always clicking enter, um, but now I have to switch to maybe clicking something else, right? Or this button used to be green up here to the right, and now it's blue to the left. <laughs> if you're in a software for 20 years, like a lot of my colleagues were, they got so used to using that, you know, that it was hard to implement something new and it shouldn't be scary. And your software partner that you choose should understand that and help. You. So it's all about choosing somebody that is honest upfront and wants to help you throughout those processes and maybe the challenges you see that you have to overcome. Yeah, I, I love that. And I love the word you use as partner, right? Um, I know here at Tap Goods, that's the approach we take. And so uh, I would definitely encourage everyone as you start evaluating softwares, take a look and do you get a feel or a vibe that someone is truly your partner? Or do you feel like they're going to sign you up and just kind of push you off and you'll become a number in the system? So uh, I love that. And the importance of training, right? Um, I think talking about it often with your team is crucial. And, and really how you handle change management, I think is a big piece of you know mitigating those challenges that you'll see. Because there's always going to be something but it's just how much can your partner remove and how much can you remove from those potential challenges down the road? Well, um, another great question that came through the chat, uh, Nicole, is we don't want to lose the personal touch and personal touch was in parentheses. Um, what are some of the ways that you've seen, whether with tap goods or other solutions that companies can still maintain that personal touch yet streamline and automate some of those maybe 
redundant um, processes? Yeah, um, I mean, that's a great question. I get that a lot, right? Um, I had a client who really, you know, he'd been in business for over 50. I mean, he'd built his business from the bottom up, right? He he was very hands-on, very, I'm going to give you a call. I'm going to shoot you an email. I'm going to follow up with a text, all of that. The great thing was, and what he saw in Tap Goods is why I love Tap Goods is it gives you that personal experience, but in the ability to manage it a little better, right? So being able to send emails that are completely personalized from your software, from Tap Goods, that you can make that special touch and that special one-on-one -on -one feeling. Um, you always can pick up a phone and talk to a client, but being able to have those communications and that consistency, right? Um, so let's say a salesperson gets really busy for a week and maybe pretends to, no, sorry, not pretends, forgets to send out like a reminder or a survey or a post event recap, anything like that. Tap Goods is going to just take that I forgot off the table. It's going to automatically do it for you. So I think that elevates the personal touch, as I would say. You know, I think it's not so much um, doing it as you always did it before, but really making it better and work better for you. Um, and then the other thing, <laughs> like I kind of said earlier in regards to delivery, you can have a great sales experience. You can have a great website experience. You can have all of that. And then when it gets to delivery, sometimes the ball can be dropped, right? If you don't have that clear communication between departments. So having a software that allows you to still have that one-on-one -on -one personal touch where your team is going to arrive on site and they're going to know the client's name. They're going to know their five maybe biggest headaches, like don't talk about that color or don't talk about price. And the ant over there is kind of crazy, right? You can always put those notes. Um, and I think that elevates the experience too, because your software is going to allow your entire team to fully understand not only the client, but the event. So it provides you that personal touch, not just during sales, but also during the delivery and operations aspect of it too. Awesome. Super informative. Uh, again, I want to take a second and just thank you, Nicole, for your time today. Uh, as I had mentioned, it was amazing seeing your energy and enthusiasm in the rental industry uh, and sharing that with, you know, everyone that's joined today uh, and everyone that will get a chance to see this webinar. Um, for the attendees, this webinar will be posted on our website, tapgoods.com. Uh, give us a day to get that up and we'll have it ready for your viewing. Um, thank you so much for attending. Don't forget, uh, if you'd like a personalized demo and get to see uh, how TapGoods could potentially benefit you and your business, uh, visit tapgoods.com. You can click on the see a demo now or scan the QR code. But uh, looking forward to seeing everyone out there. Thank you so much for joining us today and uh, be safe.